Step into a world where curiosity knows no boundaries and kindness is a language spoken fluently by everyone. A realm created by none other than the iconic 1968 TV series, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. As you think back to your first encounter with this timeless gem, do you remember the moment the screen came to life and Fred Rogers strolled through the door, effortlessly inviting you to be his neighbor? Perhaps it was the cozy trolley rides into the neighborhood of make-believe or the comforting jingles that became the soundtrack to your childhood. In those fleeting moments, the worries of the day melted away, and you were left with a profound sense of warmth and understanding. Every episode was a journey into a world where the ordinary transformed into the extraordinary, a space where talking about feelings was as natural as breathing, and a puppet kingdom revealed life's lessons in its most whimsical form. But beyond the colorful cardigans and the endearing puppets, there's a treasure trove of fascinating facts that make the show even more enchanting. So, let's set the stage to uncover these hidden gems that paint a richer picture of the show that touched hearts across generations. Did you know that the iconic Want You Be My Neighbor theme was composed by Fred Rogers himself? Or that the puppets, from Daniel Striped Tiger to King Friday the 13th, were crafted with meticulous care, each representing a facet of human emotion. These are just a glimpse into the marvels that made Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood a show that not only entertained, but also nurtured the soul. So, as we embark on this journey through the curtain of time, let's peel back the layers of nostalgia and discovery, and dive into the random facts that give this series its magical essence. Because, in the neighborhood Fred Rogers built, every moment was an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to be reminded that you are special, just the way you are. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, unveiling the subtle perfectionism behind the neighborhood's magic in the enchanting realm of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, where imagination danced with reality, an intriguing detail often escaped the attention of casual viewers. The clock on Daniel Striped Tiger's wall bore no hands. Why, you ask? The mastermind behind the neighborhood's universe, Fred Rogers, once shared, in the neighborhood of make-believe, we can pretend that it is any time we want. This seemingly innocuous touch exemplified the show's commitment to unbridled creativity and limitless possibilities. But the whimsical absence of clock hands was just a fraction of the enigma that was Fred Rogers. Behind his gentle demeanor, guests soon discovered a man of meticulous craftsmanship and profound purpose. Those who entered his domain expecting a lenient ad-libbing experience were in for a surprise. Rogers, the serene advocate for children's well-being, was equally a fervent perfectionist. He firmly opposed what he termed shoddy ad-libbing, convinced that children deserved nothing less than the finest programming. His conviction stemmed from a belief that children were inherently thoughtful individuals who merited content of the same caliber as that produced for discerning adult audiences. While many knew of his commitment to quality, the revelation that the character Lady Elaine Fairchild owed her name to Fred Rogers' adopted sister, Elaine Crozier, adds yet another layer of personal significance. Rogers often wove threads of his life into the show's fabric, creating an intricate tapestry that mirrored his values and relationships. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood was not just a children's program, it was a canvas where creativity met exacting standards. Through whimsy and precision, Fred Rogers crafted a world where imagination flourished, lessons resonated, and each detail served a purpose, even if it meant omitting the hands on a clock. In this neighborhood, time bowed to the boundless possibilities of make-believe. Pioneering representation and transformation in children's television, the inspiring journey of Francois Clemens on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in the realm of children's television, where imagination and inspiration converge, one name stands as an emblem of inclusivity and positive change, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. The year was 1968 when this beloved series, hosted by the gentle and warm Fred Rogers, first graced the airwaves. Among its many accomplishments, the show boasted a groundbreaking feat, the inclusion of Francois Clemens, one of the first black individuals to have a regular role on a children's TV series. The serendipitous encounter that brought Clemens to the neighborhood's fold was no ordinary occurrence. Rogers, with his keen ear for talent, stumbled upon Clemens during a church gospel performance. Recognizing not only Clemens' vocal prowess, but also his depth of character, Rogers wasted no time in extending an invitation. However, Clemens' journey on the show was not without its trials. As a result of personal experiences and deep-rooted distrust, Clemens initially hesitated to portray a police officer on screen. 
It was Roger's unwavering conviction that transformed this hesitation into an opportunity for growth, both for Clemens and for the show's young viewers. Rogers believed that the role of Officer Clemens could serve as a powerful means to demonstrate the importance of trust and respect for law enforcement among children. Over time, Clemens not only embraced his role, but also used it to convey a crucial message of unity, understanding, and mutual respect. From its inception in 1968 to its temporary hiatus in 1975, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood crafted a staggering 590 episodes, each fostering a sense of kindness, curiosity, and empathy. Upon its resurgence in 1979, the show continued to captivate hearts, adding another 305 episodes to its legacy. A grand total of 895 original episodes graced the screens over the course of the show's remarkable 33-year run. However, in a move that stirred nostalgia and raised eyebrows, PBS opted to retire the classic 590 episodes that aired from 1968 to 1975 allowing the newer content to take center stage. Indeed, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood held an indelible impact on the lives of its viewers, offering life lessons disguised as engaging entertainment. As Mr. Rogers' esteemed friend and speedy deliverman, Mr. McFeely, once noted, there's more to a name than meets the eye. Fred Rogers' middle name, McFeely, was in homage to his own grandfather, Fred McFeely, who undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the compassionate creator of this iconic show. The tale of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is one of progress, empathy, and the transformational power of television. Francois Clemens' journey from reluctance to embracing his role, and Fred Rogers' commitment to fostering trust and understanding resonate to this day. The show's timeless wisdom continues to remind us that, in the neighborhood of kindness, there's always room for growth and positive change. Johnny Costa's timeless melodies enrich Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in the heartwarming world of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, where Fred Rogers' gentle demeanor and life lessons captivated young minds. Another unsung hero shaped the show's enduring charm. Johnny Costa, a versatile musical genius, served as the series' musical director, pianist, conductor, and arranger, seamlessly infusing the show with his enchanting melodies. Tragically, Costa's melody came to an end in 1996 with his passing, yet his harmonious legacy lived on. His music, a cornerstone of the show's magic, continued to grace the neighborhood, a timeless testament to his talent and contribution. The show's melodies, forever intertwined with the feelings of comfort and nostalgia, persistently serenaded new generations, reminding them of the values Mr. Rogers tirelessly championed. Costa's ability to capture the essence of every scene, whether a moment of introspection or a playful adventure, became an inseparable part of the show's identity. His departure left a void, but through his compositions, he ensured that the neighborhood's musical spirit endured. However, an intriguing facet is that even after Fred Rogers chose to cease producing new episodes in 2001, the program ingeniously maintained its roots. With the astute understanding that young viewers' loyalty would likely wane before realizing the absence of fresh content, the show embraced its perpetual cycle of reruns. Rogers' thoughtful strategy aimed to preserve the show's innocence and charm, shielding his young audience from the realities of production schedules and finales. By sidestepping any mention of the decision, the show's integrity remained untarnished, its legacy unmarred by the passage of time. As we explore the treasures of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, it's worth remembering how Johnny Costa's melodies and Fred Rogers' clever approach intertwined to craft a world of enduring wonder. A world where the chimes of a piano and the warmth of a red sweater live on, reminding us of life's simple joys and the power of genuine, lasting connections. Fred Rogers' prankster persona, unveiling the humorous side of a beloved TV icon and the heart of the enchanting world of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Where kindness and compassion reigned supreme, there existed a lesser-known facet of the show's creator and host, Fred Rogers. Beyond his cardigan-clad exterior and calming presence, Rogers possessed a surprising penchant for pranks that kept the crew's spirits high during the show's production in the late 1960s. Contrary to his gentle demeanor, Rogers was no stranger to practical jokes behind the scenes. Crew members fondly recalled moments when they would seize the opportunity to pull off light-hearted pranks on the beloved television icon. Far from taking offense, Rogers embraced the camaraderie and playfulness, responding with good-natured laughter. 
Those closest to the set revealed that Rogers would often take these pranks in stride, a testament to his humor and unassuming nature. Yet, it wasn't just a one-way street. Rogers, showing his mischievous side, would orchestrate his own share of pranks. The crew discovered firsthand that the host of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood could flip the tables and surprise them with his playful antics. The mutual exchange of laughter created an atmosphere of unity and joviality that extended well beyond the confines of the neighborhood. While the gentle lessons of empathy and understanding took center stage on screen, the backstage camaraderie and humor formed an integral part of the show's legacy. Fred Rogers, known for his unyielding dedication to educating and entertaining young minds, demonstrated that even the most kind-hearted souls could appreciate a well-timed prank. So, next time you put on that familiar cardigan and step into the world of make-believe with Mr. Rogers, remember the twinkle of mischief that lingered behind those earnest eyes. Even in his most earnest moments, Rogers reminded us that a good laugh transcends age and time, embodying the true spirit of his neighborhood. As we bid farewell to our journey through the timeless corridors of the 1968 TV series, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I implore you to take a moment and travel back to your own cherished memories. The show, like a nostalgic lullaby, has left its indelible mark on the hearts of countless individuals, young and old alike. The gentle cadence of Fred Rogers' words, the warmth of his smile, and the magic of the neighborhood trolley have all woven themselves into the fabric of our lives. As you reflect upon your personal connection with this iconic show, perhaps you recall the simple yet profound lessons it shared. The importance of kindness, the joy of curiosity, and the beauty of being exactly who you are. Maybe you remember the feeling of comfort and companionship that Mr. Rogers offered, a constant friend on the other side of the screen. Your own memories are a treasure trove, a unique testament to the power of television to shape our lives in meaningful ways. Whether you sat cross-legged in front of the TV as a child or stumbled upon an episode during a nostalgic moment, your story is a part of the grand tapestry of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So, dear friend, let these memories be a bridge to a time when life seemed simpler and the neighborhood was a safe haven. I encourage you to share your thoughts, your favorite moments, and the impact this show has had on your life. Let your voice join the chorus of those who have been touched by Mr. Rogers' unwavering kindness and empathy. In a world that's constantly changing, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood remains a comforting beacon, reminding us of the enduring power of compassion and community. Thank you for taking this journey with me, for sharing your thoughts, and for keeping the spirit of the neighborhood alive in your heart. Until we meet again, take care, and remember, you are special, just the way you are. Warmly, your name.